Hi, this is Adam Linus with Linus Welding Training out of Fargo and Bismarck, North Dakota. Today we're going to be showing you a 3G flux core test on 3 8 plate. My machine I am using is a 350MP Lincoln. Wire will be E70T-1 flux core wire with 75-25 shielding gas, that's 75% argon, 25% CO2. Machine settings I have based off of a WPS that we run. Um, for wire feed speed, it'll be set at about 258 inches per minute with our volts at about 24 and a half. Okay, here we have the test tacked up and in position. We'll be running vertical up. There are a couple different techniques you can run with this test. One is running stringers and the other is running the Z-Weave technique. Today I'll be showing you the Z-Weave technique on this test. Alright, our first pass is going to be the root pass. For this pass, we're going to do a slight back and forth motion, washing our puddle into the bevels and pausing on our toes to make sure that we're uh, not ch achieving any undercut. We're going to get ready and uh, we'll run this first one. Okay, done with the first root pass here. Um, I'm gonna knock off the slag here and clean it up and then we'll run our second pass. Okay, you can see with the slag knocked off and wire brushed out, uh, this is what the first pass will look like here. And you notice that we have good wash into our bevel edges there and uh, there's no uh, undercut um, on those edges. So we should be good to run our second pass. Alrighty, our second pass we're ready for now. This is where we're gonna get into the actual Z-weave technique where we're Pausing on the toes, jumping up, pausing, over, pausing, jumping up, pausing. Again here it's important not to jump up too far, okay, and to also pause enough on your toes so that you don't have an uh, undercut. Alright, here we go. Okay, the second pass is done. I'll clean off the slag and wire brush it again and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so we're done with the second pass. I got the slag cleaned off and wire brushed. I'm gonna show you quickly here the technique that I was using, that Z-Weave technique. So I'm starting on one edge of the bevel plates and I'm running over to the other edge, pause, and then jumping up one electrode, back, pause, and then over, pause. If you do that correctly, you should have no undercut on the edges and it should wash in nice. Okay, so I'm ready to do my third pass. I should have this pass and then one more pass. So I'm gonna do the same techniques for these last two passes here. So again, the Z-Weave technique.
Okay, so we got that knocked off and cleaned up. So when I was welding, uh, I was watching my puddle and I want that to fill so it's at least uh, about a sixteenth of an inch left to fill for that last cover pass. Okay, so we're ready for our fourth and final pass, which is our cover pass. And I'm going to focus on that Z-weave technique again. But we really want to make sure that we're coming across to our bevel edges and then pausing. So starting here, move over to the bevel edge, pause, come up to the bevel edge, pause, and back over to the bevel edge and pause. This is really crucial because if you don't do this, you could underfill the joint and have a lot of undercut as well. Okay, so here's the fourth and final pass, the cover pass cleaned up. As you can see with that Z-weave technique, I traveled far enough over onto the bevel edges and paused long enough so that I didn't get any undercut and I filled the joint completely. Uh, you can see it gives it that fish scale uh, look to it. But also the travel speed was correct to where I didn't have a lot of weld reinforcement, which you're only allowed an eighth of an inch, so and this looks pretty good. Thanks for taking the time today to watch our flux core welding video in the 3G position.